It's here, the moment we've all been waiting for. The next generation of PlayStation, the PS4 has arrived. Sony gave us our first peek of the PS4 this summer when it showed up the Xbox One by announcing it would be $100 cheaper. The PlayStation may have won that battle, but will it win the war on repairability? You know what time it is. It's teardown time. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're tearing down the brand new PS4. There's no chance of confusing this new console with the earlier versions, as the PS4 trades in the curves of the PS3 for a more modern and angular design. The PS4 has added a snazzy external LED light that powers on blue when the console is turned on, and as we learned at a recent press event, changes to red when the system is overheating. That looks a little too familiar to me. By your command. The PS4 offers digital-only output having a single HDMI port, an optical audio port, a LAN port, and an auxiliary port for connecting your PlayStation camera. Size-wise, the PS4 is close to the PS3 Slim and measures in at 275 millimeters in width, 305 millimeters in length, excluding the largest projection, and just 53 millimeters in height. First things first, we're happy to see just how easy it is to get at the PS4's hard drive. This is definitely a user replaceable drive. It's a standard two and a half inch laptop sized drive that you can just pop out when you're ready for an upgrade. Anyone else thinking SSD? Very nice, Sony. In order to get inside this beautiful black box, we have to get past the seals that cover the first screws. We've only had it in our possession a few minutes and we've already voided the factory warranty. How unlike us. And with a few twists of our screwdriver, we're able to remove the torque security bits that are securing the case. And now we can get our first look inside the PS4, including that custom design 85 millimeter diameter fan. But before we can get the fan out, we have to remove a few things. First out of the box is the power supply. This power supply makes having a giant brick attached to your power cable a thing of the past. And the AC input of 100 to 240 volts means international gamers will only need the right power socket to use it. Next to come out is the optical drive. This is a six time CAV Blu-ray drive. Lifting up the panels reveals an uncluttered and green motherboard. I'm a sucker for organization. On it, you will see the system on a chip, which consists of eight X86 64-bit AMD Jaguar cores and the next generation Radeon GPU comprised of 18 compute units capable of cranking out 1.84 teraflops. This chip will be backed by eight gigabytes of unified GDDR5 RAM. And what's gonna keep all those chips cool? For one, this giant heatsink. Try as we might, we were unable to remove it from the EMI shielding. And then there's the fan, all 85 millimeters of it. It's designed to run smarter and quieter, so hopefully those curves are gonna keep the machine from falling prey to a next generation yellow light of death. We've come to the end of our teardown, which means it's time to talk repairability. And I fixed it, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything. So we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between one and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and one being the most difficult. The PlayStation 4 got a eight out of 10. And here's why. On the upside, no adhesive makes disassembly and reassembly easy. And the non-proprietary hard drive is easy to access and replace. And replacing it will not void your warranty. But on the downside, you'll need to disassemble quite a bit of the device to access the fan for cleaning and even more for replacement. And finally, the sharp midplane could cause some damage to your fingers if you're not careful during disassembly. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.